again, what we're going to be looking at in this one is seeing kind of like basically the difference as um, you're going as you're going down. Um, so this one, you can see that we have. So you can see, obviously, on the first derivative that it is getting smaller, right? It's going down negative. And then also, you can see that my second derivative is also negative, right? And it's getting negative at a um, constant rate here. So we could say that f prime of x is less than 0. And h prime, or h double prime of x, oops, I should have wrote that as a double prime over there. h double, oops, uh, not f. f double prime of x is also less than 0. So in this example, we could say that the graph is um, decreasing at a decreasing rate. So what we can look at in this example is if you were to look at a function that was, you could say that the slopes are negative. Would you guys agree with me that all those slope lines are negative? And they're getting more and more negative, right? So it's decreasing at a decreasing rate, because more and more negative is decreasing, right? When you have negative 5, negative 20, negative 30, that's getting smaller and smaller, technically, right? <coughs> 